What's up YouTube? So I've got these two different Toshiba laptops. This one's somewhere near 10 years old. This one's about five, five and a half, six years old. And uh, many years ago, my dog decided to step on said, said screen and uh, broke it. Laptop was sitting somewhere safe, but the dog squished it and broke it. This one's all good, still works. Screen still lights up, no worries. But it's an old Celeron M processor. Uh, only has Windows XP on it. And is uh, exceptionally old and slow. It's like a 1.1 gig processor. This one's an i3. But it also has NVIDIA graphics. Um, it has been used in the past. It's got a HDMI port and that's why we've always used it um, since it broke. It used to just be a like, media computer. So it sat in the sat in the uh, entertainment unit just getting used to watch videos but basically what I want to do today is screen off, screen off, plug that screen into that computer and see if it works. Right, I'll start pulling some screws apart. So after all those little screws are pulled out, unfortunately they're a completely different plug. So this is the screen plug on the old Toshiba. It receives up there. That's the screen plug on the newer Toshiba. So as you can see unfortunately they're different. I'm not going to worry about putting either of these back together. Um, just going to pull the hard drives and chunks of copper out of them. Maybe chunk of copper in the fan there. That one's a little bit dusty. Wait till you see inside this one. Look at that. I don't even know how it was still running to be honest with you. Can't believe how much that built up over the years. So what we'll do is we'll hard drive out. Oh, it's got a little retaining screw. Wonder what was standing because that one's a 500 gig one. So we can use that for something again. Still being good, Nick. Yeah, that's a bit of an upsetting thing. Hopefully, I was hoping to get that going again, but. Like I say, realistically it's probably a hundred dollar laptop, if that, but um, yeah, we'll get that off and we'll have a look inside. Okay, so we got the main board out, had to break a few things to get it out, but it's out. Have a look at this fan, and the dust all over the bench from this, just opening this thing up. So that fan is sucking from above and blowing out this thin heat sink heat pipe contraption over this one. So I'm assuming that's CPU, that's GPU. The dust collection in there is just ridiculous. It's like you need a vacuum cleaner. At least this one kind of got a good normal path where it comes out. This is just silly. To be near better off sucking through those um, fins. So at least then there was some airflow still. No. Oh well. Something a little bit different. We got to have a look inside something. It's always a win when you get to pull something apart. come out for its scrap value. Same with the RAM. I 
I should be collecting all the gold pins, but uh, I don't really have time. How much rams I got? Four gig. Four gig of DDR3. Laptop RAM. Might keep that just in case I get a semi okay shed laptop for next time. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Hopefully, we can uh, set something up in the shed that's a bit better than this. Catch up.